Welcome to the 2019 Parallax Auto Tour. My name is Chris. You can follow me at the Google Show. Good morning guys Right, so today is the day Today is moving day Moving out day Bye bye <laughs> the delivery truck is coming at 8 a.m. So right now it's 6 plus. So we only had one hour of sleep last night as well. This is the closest feeling you can get to traveling in 2020. Real truth! How do you feel? Two years fly by just like that. Like it doesn't even feel like anything. It's just numb. Just feels like we're gonna catch a flight and then we are going to a new place. Truth. Dubai, level 6. Final office. Good. Unlock. This is it! This is it guys! It's the end! Right, ready, three, two, one, go! Give you 30 seconds! <laughs> World record! Welcome! Alright, good morning guys. Today is day 5 of the vlog. Welcome to day 5. Uh, if you guys ask me how I'm feeling right now, I may not be able to give you guys a coherent response. I only had like 4 to 5 hours of sleep last night. But either ways, today we're gonna bring you guys around and show you guys around the Parallax office. Today is Parallax Office Tour 2021. Hey vlogging, driving <laughs> safe, you know. Not safe. Alright, what's up guys? This is Ming. If you guys need an introduction on who Ming is, you can check out this video over here. Welcome to Parallax. Alright, so for those of you guys who are from Singapore, today we are here for the sole purpose of showing you guys around the office. So most of our staff, they are working from home right now. Wait, Zoo is working from home? His right PC now, is right. still on it. Eh. <laughs> Zoo can edit using his phone from his PC. So every time his computer is moving, right, but he's not. <laughs> That's Chris over there. This is the ultimate work from home rig. Eh? Like your whole rig is in office still running, but you are on your bed using your phone editing. <laughs> okay, so anyways, yeah, we are just here for the sole purpose of filming this office tour for you guys. After the office tour, we're gonna go home straight away, get in, get out. Okay, so as you guys can see right now, the office is insanely messy. Yesterday, y'all got full day shoot, right? Yeah. You can see all the equipment. It's all on the floor. The boys had a full day shoot yesterday. We're gonna give you guys a full office tour. Let's go. I think my release radar, right, is almost the Train, huh? <laughs> what is going on? Huh? Okay, so the problem right is this uh, airplay is connected to Ming's Spotify. So everyone who comes to the office, right, they will log into his Spotify and then they'll play all sorts of weird shit. <laughs> right, so we don't have a cleaner, so Ming does the cleaning every week. My fellow household man, let me tell you. <laughs> let me just explain to you the feature of this book, okay? Look over here, look over here. Okay, see, see. Oh, you can get together. <laughs> right. This. Up. What? <laughs> oh dear, there's something I need to get. Brad not. <laughs> wow, really Got insane. It. So Jimmy fur is usually all over the place, right? When I sweep it out, it gets stuck onto these brushes. So what this does, right? They have these teeth over here. So when you sweep in, oh dear, oh no, it's stuck. Hell no. <laughs> it's gone! It's gone! <laughs> 
So shout out to Ming for keeping the office clean every week. If not, this office is gonna be a mess. We are hiring cleaners. We are hiring cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyways, we just did like a quick five minute cleanup of the place. We didn't really clean it up as much as the previous office tour because there's really no point. I think you guys are gonna see this place very often and most of the time it's really messy. So we're just gonna show you guys how it actually is. <clears throat> okay, so let's start from the door. Oh, oh hi, I didn't see you there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start here at the entrance. Okay. Most of the stuff in this office is like old items from the Trash. old office. We, we didn't bother to get new stuff. No, it's not we didn't bother, we got no more money. <laughs> True! <laughs> it's still like, True! The so this shelf used to be red color. This place was empty. Apparently, this shelf has been around since the very first tenant in this unit. And apparently, it's supposed to bring a lot of what, you know? <laughs> the landlord say what, you know, got a lot of what. So all the companies that come here and be tenants, right, they eventually move up to get bigger spaces because mm -hmm. they are doing too well and this place cannot house all the employees. But we told them we, <laughs> we aim to one day we'll buy over this unit. Facts. And this feature wall was also built by our contractor. We got some fissures here. These are called Tetra fissures. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I remember correctly, we still have a stash over here. Oh, let me know if you guys want to purchase any of this. We still have quite a lot of Just Send It Parallax merch. If you guys want to purchase Parallax Just Send It tees, let me know in the comment section below. So after you walk through this little section, take off your shoes. At the start of the video, right, when we got this unit, right, this floor is carpeted with like <laughs> carpet flooring. So we, we got a contractor to rip up all of them and they become like bare cemented floor. Then we added all this flooring ourselves. Over here, we have our little studio space. So it's not very big, but it's enough to fit like a three meter backdrop. So over here, this another shelf from our own office and just stories all about support equipment, tripods and like stand and stuff. And over here, <laughs> our old Polaroid wall, <laughs> this is what remains of it. We haven't had visitors for like the past one year because of the whole situation. It's damn sad because if you guys saw our Parallax office tour in 2019, we actually threw a big party for our opening ceremony. That was actually called Parallax Day. It was on 1st June 2019. Today is what? 5th. Today is 5th Can't COVID. do anything because of COVID. Oh my god, Donald Trump tissue paper. <laughs> hey, not just Donald Trump. Look who's behind. Oh wait, that's, that's, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like this. So this vinyl texture, texture isn't exactly what we wanted because in the first place we wanted something like epoxy or just make it very rough looking. Somehow our contractor actually suggested that we make this happen. So hey, it looks fine. It looks kind of like Minecraft. Yeah, so exactly. No, that was my first thoughts when we first came in, right? This place really looks like Minecraft. It's like the blocks you go in the wall. Insert freshly renovated images here. This is where we got our shoots and this shelf is probably majority of the company's asset. And if you want to come and rob and steal from us, just come to this shelf it's and just here. Dude, this is crazy. All of our assets piled together. Across the shoot area, we actually have a chill out space. This fake wall over here is actually stolen from one of our sets, the one take shoot. And then over there- It's not stolen, we, oh, we, we paid for we it. We paid for it. <laughs> and then over here, as you guys can see, these paintings over here, these were the paintings that were on the fake walls. So they are actually real wall paintings right now because we can't afford to get any real paintings for oh. now. But anyways, this this place was designed with the intention of like when our clients come down for a shoot, As they a actually have a chill corner hangout over here. Spot yeah, they can hang out, they can chill, spot. they can watch the talents having a shoot over here. Yep. This is the shoot area. I think I did mention this once before, but our studio is it's not a very proper professional studio. But the good thing about our studio is if you come here to have a shoot, right, you can literally find anything, every Those. single prop you want, every single camera lights and everything. Really, anything you want, you want a whip, you want a cat, you want whatever you want, you can buy anything in our studio. So, yeah. Yeah. Stuff we have here. the stuff we have here. To show the separation in space, right, we actually did out like herringbone flooring here compared to vinyl flooring. So it sort of like separates the zone out. And this is actually a built-in piece that uh, we did with our contractor. It's like marble with like some stuff. What the okay, so my problem is always with buying useless stuff like this. <laughs> Anyway, this is a really nice chair that I spent a lot of money on. Okay, <laughs> and, uh, whose house this, is this? The home of Chibi. The notorious office cat. Chibi has grown like three, four times the size when he first came in. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but he came in as a little, I will say puppy. Insert, insert, image. Insert, here. little, little kitten eh. So over here, right, we have a little bed for Chibi. And this is donated by his best friend, Mr. George Von Stein. <laughs> <laughs> this cow is cat. Okay, so, <laughs> so Chibi, right, his best friend, or oh, I'm not sure whether they are together or something like that. This cow is cat. Pillow. And then every time when Chibi comes in the office, right, he will smell the pillow right? and he will just come here, start cutting with the pillow, start humping the pillow. It's them sus lah. Honestly, I, I don't know what's going on. Over here is our working space and a meeting room. So this whole office is about a thousand and hundred square foot with a five hundred square foot balcony. So for some context, our whole office is about a thousand and hundred square foot in total. Yeah. So actually, the interior space that we have here is about same. the same about the as the whole office. But we have, we have a five hundred square feet balcony outside, which we will show you. 
in a bit. This is where we sit. We have actually changed our sitting three, four times. Uh, arrangement like a couple of times since we <laughs> because we were just always trying to find that, that, that sweet spot of yeah. like, like communication easy, and yeah. placement of each. And we also have like a, a few new people joining yeah. us also. That's right. why. Welcome to my humble abode, as you can see. This is Mr. Stanley over here. So this is a birthday present that Zoo got me. So this is Mr. Stanley. This is my humble desk. This is where I sit. This is my monitor over here. This is where I put my laptop. And so I'm sitting here working most of the time. Good to tell, ma. So usually Daniel and Zoo <laughs> will fight over this thing. Hey, it's an armrest. Speed each other because yes, for yeah. some reason they cannot do work without this pillow. <laughs> so anybody who has this pillow, send them over to the True! Send them all this. Here. I'll put the address, <laughs> address in. Here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I completely forgot about this. Google sent me this thing last year. I was supposed to break this piñata. This is from Google as you can see. And this was supposed to be for a countdown I have. <laughs> Welcome to Ming Real Estate. Alright, so where are we right now? So beside Palm, I actually sit here. And this table used to be like uh, a, a prop. It's a prop? <laughs> All of our stuff in office so, is props. Somehow, and this lamp is also a prop. So... <laughs> Yeah, you know, we, we, we kind of spend all our money on, on, on shoots and end up using them in the office. This table used to be Zeus, uh, our editor's main yeah, table. Long ass table. Somehow he got an even bigger table now. So, <laughs> so this table is being used as a common table now. Chris sits here. He has. Oh, Chris, the table is surprisingly very clean today. Standard input, standard output. Last is never this clean. Yeah, never I, I, clean. Clean. I clean it up sometimes. I want to go as far as to say that. It's a li little bit more minimalist, you know, you could say. <laughs> okay, just, I just want to quickly say something. So I think a lot of my audience have this common misconception that I'm the founder of Parallax. So actually Parallax was founded by Ming and Chris in 2017 and I actually joined as like a shareholder business partner in like the start of 2018. One year in lah. One year in, yeah. So basically Parallax is run by the three of us. Beside Chris, this is where Mr. Ming portraits Xiu Ming since I don't know what is up with his table. That's, that's all for this table, there's nothing much okay. over here. Alright, over here as you can see, if you guys remember, these are our one-piece figurines. And as you guys saw from the start, this is the table that consumes the most oh. energy. <laughs> really, our electricity bill every month is this table itself. This is Su. He's been working on a few animation projects recently and this this bad boy over here. See what I said, this one takes more energy than the Bitcoin mining. He's rendering all these 3D images. I have no idea what he's working on right now, but is definitely going to be sick. And this is Claudia's table. As of five months back, we actually hired a new animator. Her name is Claudia. She's Claudia's not your typical insane. Singaporean animator. She studied in the UK for four years and we are really glad that she joined us and to be part of our team as a full-time animator as well. So now, we are also expanding our capabilities to run into 2D animations. Uh, okay, last but not least, uh, this is the major upgrade from the previous office. We have our own toilet. The previous office, we didn't have a washroom. So every time we need to take a piss, we had to exit out of course yes, and go yeah. walk in the public space. Finally, our own little office toilet. It's the tiniest toilet that ever, but hey, at least you can get your business done here. At and least you can shower in here, you know. One small step for one step civilization, you know. At least you can also get some workout done here. Sweat it out, and then we always have a shower here. Anyway, here is just a quick little small area that I actually customized these uh, partition walls that they weren't here in the first place. Uh, oh my god, my McFlurry from last night! <laughs> <laughs> we do some F&B shoots here and there and that's where we need some cutleries and food items. This is where we keep them. Right, let's go. This is the final piece. This is technically what we paid for, but we don't really... Okay, we use it quite often. Uh. Welcome to the balcony. We actually ran a shoot here uh, for one of our clients, shout out Ayam Brand. We want to do like a scene where it's like a get-together between friends, like a group talk kind of vibe. But it's hard to get that location during COVID. So we realized that hey, actually we have it here, so why not let's just use it. So this is the actual table that we use. As you can tell from our office, right? A lot of our furniture over here are actually props from like previous shoots. You look at the difference, right? <laughs> when we got the space, this wall is actually stitched up. We actually hacked down this space here. This whole roof, right, doesn't make any sense. Eh. Like this side and this side, right, got and no symmetry at all. This table used to be somewhere in the whole office. Oh, that was our meeting table where we sealed all the deals. And we have a small kitchen area. We actually do some of our cooking and some shoots here as well. And yeah, we generally, I'm just really happy that we have an outdoor factory here. As so, you guys can probably tell, this place is looking more like a Bali resort than an office. But that's actually the look that we are going for, so. Tell you I tell Tom don't get already, but he might please to go and get this stupid thing. I don't know why, like, it's a waste of space. No, no, we need to work out. This is practical. Look at this clean wrap. Okay, they try to walk through this, right? And after like days and days of rain, right? A bloody cling wrap broke off. Have you seen a cling wrap harden and broke off before? Well, it protects it protects the ladder. Then you have to think about when we go and move out, uh, we have to go and tear down the whole thing. Uh, I'm just gonna keep nagging at that. Uh, yeah. 
Wow, okay, I just realized the entire time I was looking at this flip screen. This flip screen really is damn distracting. Just look at that. Can you guys imagine vlogging with this? It's impossible not to look into this. <laughs> Sorry if uh, I got my eyes were a little bit distracted. Here's your personalized Google year in search list that spell out Daniel Well, I have no idea what it is, but thanks Google.